hey guys welcome or welcome back i have quite a bit of empties <clears throat> excuse me to go through i just finished up work for the day and i figured while i still have some energy um that i wanted to do my empties it is thursday so happy friday eve I'm not going to go in any particular order. I just have everything really like thrown in my empties basket. The only thing I separated out was that um, Kim from Kim's Heart, Kim Hearts Organizing and Jenny from Just Jenny were doing a melting challenge, are doing a melting challenge this week. So seven days of melting the bathing garden and they have prompts. So I did follow along. So I have four since today is Thursday. Um... I will complete, I will continue on for the next three days and you'll see those in next week's empties. So that's what I'm going to start with because I did keep those separate. So the prompt for day one was melt a scent that is unique to the bathing garden. So I warmed circus bread, excuse my nails, I'm giving them a break. Um, so this is the first time that I have ever had circus bread. Um, I was a little intimidated by it because the scent notes are yeasty fruitcake, fresh strawberry, and vanilla. That yeasty fruitcake kind of, I don't know, was a little off-putting. This was really good, and I actually ended up warming it with um, something else, which, of course, it's not on the top of my bucket, but anyway... This was really, really good. I liked this. I warmed it with um, French bread from Goose Creek, just so I could have it living living room, kitchen, and dining room, since that's all open concept. Really good. Enjoyed that very much. The prompt for day two was melt a clam with embeds. So I did um, inclement weather party, and it has little... I didn't keep all of them, but it had little cloud um, embeds in it. An inclement weather party was fresh rain on damp cotton, hints of carnation, lily of the valley, musk, and thunderstorms. So this was like laundry and like white florals. It was really pretty. This was not um, like headache inducing strong. It was just like a nice, like breezy scent. Yeah, super pretty. Um, really enjoyed that as well. And I sometimes, I keep the little embeds that she puts in the wax. I don't know why. I just, I think they're adorable. Okay, day three was melt a sample, test it out. So this is just Jasmine Frost. I've had this for a very long time. I did not order any bathing garden in 2024. So I'll start anew since I'm trying not to buy it all right now um, in 2025. I have great luck with the bathing garden. Um, I wish more people talked about her. She has great prices. Such like artistic um, designs on everything that she creates. So just Jasmine Frost is... Um, it's a like... Okay... What I was going to say was I've had this for a long time, and every time I sniffed it, I was like, oh, I don't know that I'm going to like this. Yeah, there was just, it's that jasmine, right? Um, it's a super, super heady, heady jasmine. It has ylang ylang in it, vanilla, and like, I don't know if it said like feminine, like very a very feminine blend or something. So I put this in the boys' bathroom yesterday, early morning. And for about the first four or five hours, I was like, wow, that is killer strong. Not so sure what I think about it or if I like it. But as the day went on, and even today, it is five o'clock. It's after five. It's still going and it has turned into it, like turned like last night into like a really pretty, enjoyable um, scent, like now that I've warmed it, this would be something that I would repurchase. I would purchase since that was a sample. And then today was melt a floral, earthy, or um, atmospheric blend. So I did, I don't have a ton of the bathing garden left. 
So I did um, Curiouser and Curiouser. And it's bergamot and lemon, hints of soft floral, sweet greens, and it's citrus smelling. So that was correct for floral. This is pretty. I've had this so many times. This is a pretty light scent. Um, I get the same performance if I warm it like the day I get it or two years later. It's pretty light to me. Now, I may have been expecting a lot of it warming it in, um, what did I do? One, two, three, four, five. Five different warmers. So one warmer had two cubes in it. But I like it or else I wouldn't continue to repurchase it. Okay, so now on to the other things that I got through. Of course, some cotton balls. So these are from um, our chain grocery store here, which is Fry's, where we shop. So this is the Kroger brand. These are super jumbo size, um, 140. I think these are like two bucks or something. So not the cheapest deal because I feel like the ones from Walmart, you get 200 maybe, and they're two bucks. I don't, I don't know, but I like these a lot. They are super, super thick and absorbent, and um, they're cotton balls, and they do what they're supposed to do. Okay, I got through a few candles, which I have had going like on and off for quite a while. So, I think this one, this is, they're all bath, yeah, they're all bath and body works. This one is Gwen's Note. Um, creamy sandalwood, sage, soft lavender. I liked this, but I did not love it. I did not. Um, and I had ordered these online. So this was, this was, went right in, maybe I burned it once. Um, and then I just like put it in the crock. And I pull the wicks out. Um, I would put this on like at night, like once my wax in the warmers, like in the kitchen and stuff, didn't really have much scent. Or if I thought that this would complement it. Yeah, it just wasn't a favorite for me. And I, I can't even tell you why. Um, because the scent notes in here are all things that I like. But I just think a combination of them, the combination of them together just wasn't my favorite. Still very happy to have tried it. Um lasted a super long time. One that I absolutely love, love, love. And I think I have one more. I hope I do. This is Main, St Main Street Bakery. I love this so very much. This is fresh banana, vanilla wafers, cinnamon sugar. This is absolutely, this is just so good. It's so good. Um, it's a fantastic performer. I burned this. Um, and then once it like got to here, I put it in the crock just because it was starting to smell a little, um, not kerosene, but more like, um, the smell that you get after you blow out candles, <laughs> that smoky kind of scent, but it still continued to go a few days in the crock. And I didn't get the, any of that burnt, like, note. So this was amazing. I love this. I definitely, I hope I have one left. If not, I'll wait until there's a sale, even though I keep telling myself, stay away from candles. Um, and then strawberry pound cake. Fresh picked strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream. Again, love this. And you guys, I think this is the strongest strawberry pound cake candle I have had from Bath and Body Works. This was so great. I mean, it burned really well. And then I crocked it. Um, and still got a lot of life from it. But just to state this again, as I know many people do, once you put a candle in a crock, there's no turning back. You cannot relight it because the wicks the wick clips become unhinged <laughs> they are loosened and they move um so once it goes in the crock that's where it must continue to live its life so fantastic all out of strawberry pound cake now we still have a lot of summer weather left here so 
I don't know when I will start warming fall. I have a lot of summer wax, but I still want to warm and enjoy, so. Okay, from Bath & Body Works, a soap in Crystal Blue Coast. This was the first time purchasing this, or having this, I should say. I don't remember when I purchased it. It was breezy palm trees, fresh apples, and sunny amber. And the foaming hand soap. This does not necessarily smell like apple. You 100% get like, I almost want to say salty sea air, but that's not what's in here. It says sunny amber and what is it? Breezy palm trees. I don't know, just like a coolness. Like you're on an island somewhere. Um, I don't know, just like the natural scents that are in that are in the air is what this reminded me of. Really, really nice. Um, would be a repurchase. Okay. And now my iPad wants to do this. You guys, I am really sorry. It's like if something's not right in front of it, it doesn't know what to do. All right, I'm just going to grab and go with whatever. So from Scentsy, I have Berry Bright. Really enjoy this. This one wasn't as strong as it has been in the past. I still really like it, though. Blue raspberry, fresh clementine, and sugar plum. Great. Warmed this all over upstairs in the loft and hallway. Good, like, 24 hours. Kept that in the warmers. From the Senspiration Black Raspberry Collection. This was Black Raspberry Frosting. I only got a couple from this collection. I didn't buy the whole thing. It's not available anymore. It's Whipped Marshmallow Buttercream Rich Dark Berries. I didn't really care for this. I had this one and I had the Sangria. I think I'm not the biggest fan of Scentsy's Black Raspberry. So, yeah, it just, it almost kind of smelled like, like, um, like glue sticks, like the kids use in elementary school, like the Elmer's glue sticks. Yeah, didn't do anything for me. From... Kringle Candle, their country candle line. This was in Cotton Candy Clouds, which I've probably had this for a couple years. This, seriously, was not scented. I mean, it's like yellowed. Um, it's sugar spun cotton candy, pink berries, and creamy vanilla. It's, I think I waited too long on that. So that didn't stay in the warmers long. From Yummer's Delight, I did a scent shot cup in um, Madly, Madly in Love. Love Yummer's Delight. I've yet to try like her clamshells. I always get the scent shot cups. Um, strawberry white cake and pink frosting. Yes, this was good. Yes, exactly what it says. You got the strawberry, you got some sugariness from that pink frosting and a bakery note. From Sensi, I did Graham Cracker Crunch. I didn't go gaga over this. I bought a couple before it went away. It's not available. It's cr caramelized Graham Cracker, crunchy peanut butter, and creamy vanilla bean. I prefer this mixed with something like a strawberry or a raspberry to make it like a closer to a like peanut butter and jelly sandwich, even though there's no um, like bread note in here. So it was good. There's a little schmutz there. I can never just do things neatly. Um, another one from Sensi Strawberry Lemon Cake, which I ended up mixing because I didn't have full bars of this. Um, I love Strawberry Lemon Cake. I'm undecided if I'm putting this in my club because I did, I think, last year. Excuse me. And I do warm through quite a bit of it. But it's fresh strawberries, lemon zest, and vanilla buttercream. And I mixed it with lemon drizzle cake from Sensi, which is lilac, sugar, vanilla icing, and lemon butter cake. Yeah, I did these together and it was very nice. Long lasting, strong um, to finish these up because neither one was a full clam. I think I did one to one um, and four. Yeah, and four warmers. Ugh. Rainbow Sherbert. I know it's Sherbet, but we say Sherbert. 
um, orange zest, sugared strawberry, and key lime zing. I love this. This it's so bright and vibrant and fun. I don't know. It just makes you feel like a kid in the summer. I love it. I do. I really, really love this. Um, have to, have to warm through a few of these every summer. And then, so, you know, I'll warm a bar or two, probably like if I get sick of <clears throat> winter scents. Sorry. Or even in the spring, but definitely love this. In the summer, it is a strong, strong, strong one. Long lasting, and it just, it stays at the same, you know, like, 9 out of 10 for the entire time. And then, like, the last hour, it'll start to kind of, like, fade out, and then it's just gone. But that is a heavy, a heavy hitter. Um, pink Berry Sandalwood. I, I don't know how I feel about this one. If this is like club worthy, do I get a couple more bars? It's still available. Um, pink berry and cherry. It has tonka bean and sandalwood. I just feel like it's not strong enough to keep to to put in the club. <laughs> um, yeah, I just can't club everything, can't buy everything. And I can't keep buying things in general, wax-wise, just for my bedroom. So, uh, kind of undecided. Um, this is a Disney bar from Scentsy. It's the Peter Pan one, Tinkerbell Sweet and Sassy. I'm 100% over this. Yeah, so over this. For, um, feisty tangerine, lush kiwi, cucumber blossom, and musk, and some pixie dust. Yeah, this bar was way more, it just came across super, super floral, and I feel like in the past I got the tangerine and the kiwi. Yeah, this, uh, I may have one more bar. Um, but I had like two, I think two cubes left. It's just been sitting on my shelf in my closet, begging to be warmed. So I warmed it in my um, master bathroom and I just, yeah, I, I just kind of had enough. Um, from Swan Creek, I, oh, this smells so good. I went through a clam in apricot pear a dice. Really good, great fruity, strong, perfect hot weather day. Um, it has white apricot, juicy pear, coconut milk, peach nectar, vanilla extract, vanilla extract, and a hint of sugared caramel and sweet musk. So you definitely got more in here than just the fruit, but I would never, ever have guessed that there was caramel in here. Oh, really good. I think I have one, I think, well, maybe not. I was going to say, I think I have another clam of it. But these are 5.25 um, ounces. So they are, sorry, my phone. Um, okay, another one from Yammers. I'm sorry that I'm kind of all over the place. <laughs> this is Amelia. And Amelia is green tea, sparkling lime, and crisp cucumber. So, such a beautiful, relaxing scent. I cut this in half and warmed this um, in my bedroom. I wanted more of these. This is the only one that came um, a little like this. A little broken. Um, I wanted more of these, but when I ordered this, I don't even know when, there was only one on the site because I wanted this all throughout my house if I was able to snag more. Um, I don't think I've had this one before from Yummers, but this was really, really nice. Like I said, relaxing. Um, I go to bed sometimes earlier. Well, definitely earlier than my oldest, but sometimes a little bit earlier than my youngest son to like read in bed or um, like watch something on TV. And I had this 
in the warmer and got to enjoy it before falling asleep. And my bedroom door was open and the kids could smell it like in the hallway. It was very pretty. A favorite and a repurchase from Yummers is Moon Over Manhattan. I love this. I love, love, love this. Um, Moon Over Manhattan is Palo Santo and Fire Roasted Marshmallows. Delicious. Oh boy, I love this. I think I have a couple of these left. Fantastic. Great performer. Strong, long lasting. From Goose Creek. My youngest son was smelling through the Goose Creek and asked if he could have this one um, to warm in his room. This is Boathouse. And it's driftwood, teakwood, coconut, lemon, and blue lavender. This is a gorgeous, like, masculine, but not cologne, with a bit of, like, outdoorsy from, like, the driftwood. Oh, so good. He loved this one. Loved it. Um, when I'm buying wax and Goose Creek has a sale, I would get some more of these because I would 100% warm this um, in my open concept. Really, really great. And it's so nice, like, when your other people in your family um, want the things that you're warming. Okay, from Goose Creek, fresh baked bread. I might have said French bread or something. And I warmed it with the um, bathing garden fruitcake one. The Easty Fruitcake. This is so fantastic from Goose Creek. I love Goose Creek's fresh baked bread. And I love um, K-Scented Melts bread. Wonderful, and I think I have like a big like K cuts bag of that, and I think I have a couple more from Goose Creek. Really great, great bread. Note. Um, another one from Yummers, which I've warmed this before. This is Barbie's Beach House. And Barbie's Beach House is um, beaches, which is an aquatic blend. It has fresh. Nope, it doesn't. It has frosted pink cake and vanilla ice cream. Yeah, just like fruity and nice and um, enjoyed it. All right, then we have a couple bags and we will be done. Okay, I went through some Rose Girls. Love, love, love Rose Girls. I took part in her July pre-order. Um... After I told myself I wasn't going to. And that will be coming, I think, early next week. So none of these were full bags. So this is the difference, like the, the big bags and then these small. I like them both. Um, I like that she has variety. So a lot of these were, like, I could warm it, like, one more time in living room, kitchen, and dining room. Or... I had like enough to warm it like twice in the front room or something. So this first one is banana salt water taffy. Loved this. It says banana candy and salt water taffy. I loved this. I don't care. I wouldn't really say that it's like a candy banana. It's so good. Maybe it's the salt water taffy that kind of it just, smelling the bag, it smells like a ripe, like, freshly peeled, like you're peeling the banana to, like, cut it up to put on your cereal. Oh, I love this. 100% would be a repurchase. Um, I keep thinking I'm going to, like, not want banana anymore, but it hasn't happened. <laughs> I really, really enjoy it. Um, blackberry lime mojitos. This was wonderful. It's blackberries, which I love, love, love. Rose Girls blackberries. Um, Florida Key Lime Pie and Fresh Mint Mojitos. I didn't get, like, a ton of mint. Oh, my gosh, but the lime is, like, that Florida Key Lime Pie is, like, make your mouth water delicious. Mixed with the blackberries. Yes, like, cocktails on the beach. This was wonderful. Loved it. Pistachio Strawberry Cake Pops. Pistachio pudding, strawberry pound cake, which is the Bath and Body Work type, and vanilla um, cake pops. Wonderful. Delicious. Strong pistachio with hints of that strawberry pound cake. 
Oh, so good. I have one, one more bag of this, the, like the smaller size bag. I think are these six, six ounces. Um, fabulous. Island Beach Nights. I don't know if this is new to Rose Girls. It's definitely new to me. Again, the Florida Key Lime Pie. Cannot get enough of it this summer. Um, Gilligan's Brew, which I believe is a coconut, coconut milk, I feel like. And Serendipity plus Beach Nights, which her Beach Nights is the, bla the Bath and Body Works type. Uh, this is like a vacation blend. Had I gone on vacation this summer, I would have brought this so to attach it and have like a scent memory, but I did not. <laughs> so Island Beach Night, loved, loved, loved. We'll definitely get some more of that next summer. And the last one from Rose Girls is Don't Be Salty. Oh, you guys, this is so good. Cucumber, rain, and salty sea air. On days... Like, before it got, like, super hot, like, first thing in the morning, if I wasn't going to warm a coffee scent, I put this in. I loved this. Beautiful combination of all three, and you got all three. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so, so good. Again, would repurchase that next summer. And last but not least, I did a K-Cut bag. I, there were only a few pieces left. Um, beach Nights and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. My real original super th thought out um, custom. Of course it's not. Everybody does this. This was wonderful. I do love Cupcakes at Tiffany's. There were a few years that I wasn't a big fan. Absolutely love it. Gorgeous with the Beach Nights. Strong, long-lasting. Um, K's Wax is wonderful. Carla is the owner. You go on there at 2 o'clock in the morning and, like, blackout shop. You can get your stuff. Any day, any time, K's is open. Love that. So, I love the, um, the cut bags. Um, I have quite a few more. I need to reduce my stash of K's and then um, order again in 2025. That's what I'm hoping for. I may not be able to hold out, but we shall see. So that is everything. That's all my retail, vendor, Scentsy, and non-wax empties. Um, I hope that you are all doing well. Did you have a favorite scent this week? Gosh, it's always super hard to pick a favorite. Um... I don't know. I would probably say I'm going to go with uh, Moon Over Manhattan. I just was in the mood for that. It was great. Also, Boathouse was really good. I can't pick a favorite. Anyway, that's everything. I hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you in my next one. Take care.